say you want me, I don't ignore you You said it first, but I meant it more, girl Oh, yeah Oh, yeah Oh, yeah You got potential, I can't explain You're so persuasive, I made some changes Oh, yeah Oh, yeah Where were you this whole time? Come and see me now, not another time You should come and see me on the rag Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Janika. I hope everyone's day is going extremely well. Mine is, so today we are doing a dry skin, sensitive skin shower routine. And before I go any further, if you guys are into self-care tips and hygiene routines such as this one, please be sure to like this video and subscribe. So we are starting straight in the shower with my facial cleanser. I like to cleanse my face in the shower to kind of speed up the process. And I have switched from Neutrogena facial cleanser to this La Roche Posay facial cleanser. It's a bit gentler and adds a lot more moisture to my face. And we're going to move on to double cleansing. I'm using my Olay moisturizing body bar and this Eco Tools bath cloth, which is for exfoliating. And so for the first layer of our double cleanse, we are going to exfoliate exfoliate and moisturize with these two products and I really encourage you all to treat your shower routines as if it's a spa day. That's truly why I enjoy taking showers so much. I enjoy just watching the water fall off of my skin, the soap suds just fall off of my skin. It's really soothing and calming to me. And I'm also listening to SZA's album and that's what I'm singing. So once you wash your body down with the Olay. We're gonna move on to something new that I got, which is this Eucalyptus Necessaire Body Wash. It has multivitamins and it's also hypoallergenic, so it cleanses extremely well. You wanna make sure you get under your arms, all over your arms, all over your chest, and down to the legs and your back as well. I love the smell of eucalyptus. They also have this necessary body wash in a fragrance free option. If your skin is extremely sensitive and you just can't take fragrance at all, but I be playing with fire. I really love eucalyptus scented body washes, body lotions, all the above. And also make sure you get the bottoms of your feet and your legs. Of course, we have to end it off and wash it, rinse it all the way down with our rotisserie chicken spin and cake. But before we get out of the shower, since we are hydrating our skin, we're gonna provide a bit more moisture with this Bioderma oil. So with this oil, you are supposed to turn the shower off and just rub your body down with the oil and moisturize every part of your skin. Like I said, you guys, treat your shower routines as if you are going to the spa and rub your body down, love on your body, make sure you are getting every crack and crevice of your skin and make sure you're feeling good about it. Take your time with it. You don't have to rush when it comes to rubbing your skin down. Make sure you get the bottoms of your feet because you want them to be smooth as well. And then we're going to turn the shower back on and rinse all our sins away before getting out of the shower and stepping into our skincare routine. So now we are fully dressed and it's time to moisturize our body down from the top of our head to the bottom of our feet. And I'm gonna use this toner or micellar water that is also part of the La Roche Posay collection. And this is the song that I was listening to y'all. I love this is an album. But I'm going to use this cotton pad that I got from Target and pair it with this micellar water that acts as a toner and just add another layer of cleanliness to my face. And this pretty much just wipes away any excess dirt from your neck, the back of your ears, your face, the back of your neck that you may have missed if you missed anything. And then we're going to move on to the serum. Now, I'm still using this Neutrogena serum because the Roche-Posay serums 
are a bit pricey, okay? I gotta work my way up to that price for a second. But after the serum, we're gonna move on to this La Roche-Posay facial moisturizer. I was also using the Ordinary's facial moisturizer, but honestly, I think this moisturizer adds a lot more moisture and hydration to my skin. My skin seems to like this moisturizer a lot more. And of course, everything will be linked down in the description box below. And after moisturizing, I'm gonna move on to my vitamin E oil on my face. I really love the way that it makes my skin just glow. It looks hydrated, it feels hydrated after this. And of course, before we move on, we're gonna add our layer of sunscreen. But first, we gotta do a little, little dance break, okay? Cause SZA, was, SZA had the mic on. This is the sunscreen that I'm using, this Super Goop Unseen sunscreen. And I really like this sunscreen because it doesn't give that white cast or make your skin appear purple like a lot of other sunscreens do. If you haven't tried this sunscreen, you guys should really give it a try. Moving on to something else new that I got, which is this Necessaire The Body Serum. Now, just as similar as we double cleanse in the shower, I like to double hydrate with my serums and lotions. And also, you guys, I treat this as if I'm at the spa. Look at how this serum has my skin glowing. It adds that extra layer of moisture when you add a serum or just an extra lotion to your hydrating and moisturizing routine. I will say this serum was $45 and thankfully I had some Sephora points so I didn't have to pay for it. And this serum is good, but to be quite honest with you all, it's not worth $45. There are other serums that you can get that would be more beneficial for your skin than having to shell out $45 and I'll talk about that in my next video. Moving on, I'm going to pair this EOS Raspberry Pomegranate with this Aveeno Body Oil and y'all when I say if you want that glowy, glossy, hydrated, moisturized looking skin, this is the combination that you need. I love this EOS lotion. It is 24 hour moisture. And like I said, top of the head to the bottoms of the feet and even in between your toes. And after that, I'm gonna move on to deodorant. This is also something new that I got. This Donna Karen deodorant mist. I actually got it when I was in Chicago in my previous video, if y'all see. And this deodorant smells so freaking good y'all it's it's a bit pricey but i wanted to try it out for myself this is also something new that i got my brazilian pink jasmine and dragon fruit it smells like a pink starburst and also another new product that i got this miss dior roller pearl so this is the perfume in my previous video i had got the toilet spray and i believe the perfume lasts a lot longer than the toilets and i'm just hitting all my hot spots so where i put my perfume at where do y'all put y'all perfume at when you spraying or putting the roller on these are my hot spots and i also go kind of behind my knees because i be seeing crisscross applesauce daily and of course we gotta hydrate and moisturize these cuticles you guys know i love my cuticle oil so put that on just like at the nail shop and then we are going to wash our hands i also love to massage the cuticle oils on my fingers cuticles and hands as well because it makes my hands feel so soft and of course moisturized and hydrated now for the last step we're going to use this eos lip balm and moisturize our lips and this is a coconut scent i'm not a huge fan of coconut i didn't read the label before purchasing but it's okay it works well on my lips and then pull out my little curly sous from my braids and get my day started but before i get my day started I truly just spent some time admiring myself in the mirror, allow myself some time to be vain, and I hope you guys allow yourself some time to be vain and tell yourself how good you look in the morning times. That's all I have for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like, especially if you made it all the way to the end, and subscribe if you're into hygiene routines and self-care videos.